Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wasohbihi ajma'in. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir amri wa hlul 'uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Rabbi zidni 'ilma wa zidni fahma. Allahumma atina fi dunya ta'wid. So welcome back to Fleet Mechanic Class. Insya-Allah today we will continue on our chapter on chapter chapter 4. We will look at chapter 4 flow in flow in pipe. Alright, in this chapter, uh, the student will be introduced to types of flow, the Reynolds number, friction factor, and we'll be looking at Woody chart. Okay, so please remember we are looking at type of flow, Reynolds number, friction factor, and Woody chart. Okay, there are three types of flow in fluid mechanics, which are laminar, transitional, and turbulent. So, what is the difference between laminar, transitional, and turbulent? So, if uh, we look at here. We look at here, we have uh, a Reynolds number. This is a Reynolds number. Okay, the type of flow can be determined using Reynolds number. Okay, what is Reynolds number? Reynolds number is RE equal to rho VD over nu. Ataupun nu, uh, V times D over, over nu. Okay, where rho is the density, V is the velocity, D is the diameter of the pipe, uh, U is the dynamic viscosity, and uh, v and uh, the new here is the kinematic viscosity okay new one is new kinematic viscosity and this dynamic viscosity okay all right from is not number we can determine whether the flow is in laminar transitional or turbulent okay okay if the reynolds number is larger than 4000 if you calculate the reynolds number and you got the reynolds number is larger than 4000 and then the flow in the pipe is in turbulent where Okay, the turbulent means that uh, the chaotic, yeah? the flow is in chaotic, chaotic, chaotic means that if we have, uh, if we have, a, if we have a pipe like this, and then we have a flow inside it, the flow will be moving in chaotic, like this. We cannot predict, predict the, uh, the characteristic of the, of the flow. All right. Okay, and if the Reynolds number you got between 2300 and 4000 and the, the flow is in transitional. Okay, transitional. Okay, what is transitional? Transitional is that the flow is moving in very beautiful, the flow is moving very beautiful, beautiful line like this in S shape. Yeah? S shape. Okay. And if the Reynolds number is lower than 2300 and then the flow is in lamina okay what is lamina lamina is the flow is moving in straight line okay the flow is moving in straight line it is chaotic for turbulent transitional for uh so the, the s shape is the um for transitional and if you're moving in a straight line then the flow is in lamina okay all of this flow is determined by the Reynolds number, okay, Reynolds number. Okay, now, let's uh, look at an uh, example here. We have example here. Okay, we have a two uh, two tank. So, we have tank 1 here. And we have tank 2 here. Okay, are connected to each other through a 80 meter long pipe. Okay, 80 meter long pipe. And the pipe diameter is 13 cm. So, we have L. The pipe is L in 80 meter long and the diameter is 13 cm but you need to convert into meter so we got 1.3 meter okay the water okay now, now the pipe is uh, you must uh, need to note that the pipe is the uh, using is the cast iron pipe the cast iron pipe okay the water mu Mu is the dynamic viscosity, 1.00 times 0 uh, minus, power by minus 3 kilogram meter second. And the rho is 1000. The flow in a, from tank 1 to tank 2. So the flow from tank 1 to tank 2. So moving downward. Eh? Moving downward. Flow from tank 1 to tank 2. Okay, the volume flow rate. Okay, Q. We got here Q. Equal to. 0 0.006 meter cubic over second 
the pipe also connected to a 390 degree elbow so we, where is the 90 degree elbow we have here one we have here two we have here three so we have here 390 degree elbow okay k3 uh k where the the k the k is is uh all right the 90 degree elbow the k here is referring to the coefficient right the pipe coefficient okay coefficient of pipe okay. coefficient is that the um, coefficient is a fixed number a fixed number you got it from a table eh? okay and a full open check valve okay. okay we have here a full open check valve here we have a check valve and then we have a glove valve here glove valve okay the part entry has a coefficient 0 0.5 and the part exit has coefficient k equal to 1.0 also uh, contribute to the minor losses of the piping system okay uh you will you'll be learning about minor losses and uh, major losses later now we'll be only today we'll be only we we'll only will be looking at the friction factor only eh? okay also they contribute into the mine losses okay the mine the water level the, uh, <coughs> the water level okay you want to run the decision the fish between 21 and 22 so today we will not be looking at how to solve this problem we just are uh, looking at how to find the Reynolds number only. Eh? Okay, for this example, we are looking at uh, the Reynolds number only. Okay, now what's the type of flow is <coughs> moving in this pipe? So, how to determine the type of flow? The type of flow can be determined using the Reynolds number. Okay, whether the flow is laminar, transitional or turbulent okay from the equation q uh from the equation we have rho rho is given to us 1000 v velocity does given to us no the velocity is not given to us diameter is given to us 0 0.13 meter mu is given to us 1.03 times 0 minus 3 okay so we got uh, we have one unknown which is the velocity of the in the pipe so how we find velocity in the pipe? We can find velocity in the pipe using the continuity equation, which is Q equal to A V. So V equal to Q over over A. So if you substitute the value, you will end we got the value is 0 0.45 meter per second. Okay, and then we have the velocity of V. Substitute the value in the equation, and then we got the Reynolds number is 58,325 which is more, uh, much more larger than 4,000 that means that turbulent uh, that means the flow in this part is in turbulent turbulent so this is how we determine the type of flow in the in the part okay now we'll be looking at friction factor okay so what is friction factor okay friction factor for lamina okay for lamina flow can be um, can be determined using the equation f equal to r e equal to uh, 64 over RE eh? 64 over RE so what is RE? RE is the Reynolds number Reynolds number ok for turbulent flow ok for turbulent this for lamina if you want to if you, if you want to find the friction factor for lamina you use this equation but if you want, you want to find the friction factor for turbulent flow you need to see the Moody chart, or you can use the full group equation. You have uh, two options. Eh? You have two options whether you want to use the Moody chart or you want to use the full group equation. Okay. So, what is full group equation? Full group equation is equal to 1 over square root f equal to minus 0 0.0, 2.0 log 3 over d. Uh, this is not 3, this is um, roughness. Okay, roughness of pipe roughness sigma this roughness eh? sigma roughness of pipe over 3.7 times 2.5 over 2.51 over Reynolds number this is Reynolds number uh, times square root f so what is f f is the friction factor is also the friction factor okay this which is, is a friction factor this is a friction factor okay true equation can find the f okay you can find the i so you can find it using usually using calculator lah calculator okay okay all right 
So putting friction, putting friction factor. Okay, so this is friction factor in. So what is used uh, the use of friction factor? Friction factor is used to find the major losses in a pipe. Okay, to find the major losses in the pipe. The HL here indicate for major losses. Major losses in a pipe. So the equation for major losses is F, which is the friction factor. Friction factor. Times L over D. L is the length of the pipe. D is the diameter of the pipe. V to V square. V square here is the velocity. Here, here is we have a V average. Angle. V square, or you can use uh, you, you can just type it as V square. Okay, v square is the velocity over 2G. G is the gravity, gravity acceleration. Okay, so so this is uh, if you want to find the Moody chart, you need to use the calculator to and uh, you can use the equation to find the friction factor or you can use for turbulent flow huh? you can use the Moody chart okay so how to use Moody chart to find friction factor okay first of all I will explain what is Moody chart this is Moody chart this is Moody chart all right this is Moody chart okay here we have friction factor so the value when we want to find over uh, at the bottom we have Reynolds number okay on the right side we have relative roughness what is relative roughness relative roughness is the roughness of the pipe divided by the diameter of the pipe okay where we can find roughness the okay, roughness is the fixed value you can find here in the table here yeah, in the table we have roughness here here is the unit in feet and unit in millimeter. So we usually use the unit in millimeter. Lah. So you use the, the value here to, to find the relative roughness. Okay, for example, here we have relative roughness of 3 times 0. For example, we have here Reynolds number equal to 3 times 0 power by 5. And we have the relative roughness of 0 0.008, zero, zero eh? zero So first of all, what you need to do is you need to make a straight line. Make a straight line here. Make a straight line here. Straight line. And then make a straight line from the Reynolds number. Make a straight line from the Reynolds number here. Just make a straight line here from Reynolds number and then find the relative roughness relative roughness eh? you find relative roughness the number is 0 0.008 so it is here so the, the number here is and we have here a pink line just follow the pink line pink line just follow the pink line until it intersect with the Reynolds number Reynolds number line and then we get the value here. Okay, when you get the value, we get when you get the value, just make a straight line to the left, and then you find the value of the friction factor here about 3.12. Okay, about 3.0.035. About the friction factor is about 0.035. This is how you find the friction factor using the um, Moody chart. It is much easier than than using the um, than using the calculator. Lah. Okay, right. <clears throat> All right. Now uh, to find the friction factor, as I showed uh, you before, in a Moody chart, you need to know two things. First of all, you need to know the Reynolds number, and second, you need to know the relative roughness. Okay, Reynolds number and relative roughness. Okay. The relative roughness, as I said before, they have no value, no value at all. Sorry, the relative roughness they have no unit, no unit, eh? No unit relative roughness. The okay, roughness can be found using the, using this, uh, using this table and this. Uh, usually we use mm lah, since we're using SI unit, so we we take the roughness as mm lah, in mm column. Okay, we have here roughness for plastic, concrete wood 0 0.5 rubber smooth 
we have 0 0.01 Qua Cup Cooper or brass tubing we have 0 0.0015 we have cast iron 0 0.26 galvanized iron we have 0 0.15 we have rough iron 0 0.046 stainless steel we have 0 0.002 and the commercial steel 0 0.045 Okay, okay, usually they will giving you the roughness, lah, so you don't have to worry. Lah. Okay, Alright, so now, let's take, uh, let make some example how we find the uh, friction factor. Okay, now we have the same equation as before. We have a pipe, the long is 0, uh, 80 meter, 80 meter long, the diameter is 0 0.13 meter, and the pipe is a Cast iron, okay, cast iron. So they're given as cast iron 0 0.045, eh? 0 0.04. Okay, alright, so we have here what else we have information that we have? We have the mu, we have mu, and we have rho. Where the value of rho we have, we have the value of, of Q. Okay, the pipe is connected to elbow. Okay, as I explained before, we have 3 90 degree elbow. And we also connected to a fully open check valve here and fully open glove valve and the pipe entry. So this is the entry. The entry here since the pipe is moving downward, uh, sorry, the flow is moving downward. <coughs> so the entry is here. The flow is entry is here in the pipe. <coughs> okay, the entry is here. And the exit is, is here. Okay, the exit is, is here. Okay. <coughs> Determine the water level. Okay, we want to determine the water level. So in this uh, question, we only <coughs> solving the the F. Eh? We want to find the yeah. So what the F? The friction factor. Okay, how will we find the friction factor? <coughs> As I said before, we need to we need to know two things if we want to find the friction factor, which is the Reynolds number and the relative roughness. So using the equation relative uh, Reynolds number, this is the equation for Reynolds number. We have rho, we have v, we have d, and we have mu. <coughs> so uh, we have so this before. Uh, rho is given to us. Here we have rho, the value of rho. We have value of d. We have here value of d, and mu. We also have the value of mu here. But we doesn't have the value of velocity v. Eh? This is velocity for v. Velocity, velocity. Just remember, this is not the volume velocity. Okay, so using the equation q equal to a v, you can find the v here. Here is about 0 0.0, 0 0.45 meter per second. This is the velocity in the part. Okay, substitute the value inside the uh, equation, and then we can find the. <coughs> we can find the. It does number value around six, uh, around fifty-eight uh, thousand three hundred twenty-five, or you can just make it six point zero times zero power by by four. So why why uh, you uh, I make it like this six point zero times <coughs> zero power by four because in the in the Moody chart, okay, in the Moody chart, it's easier for you to just round out the number round out the number to the closest value which is 6 for 5.8 is 6 times by 0 0.4 okay the relative roughness okay relative roughness is 0 0.26 mm so you need to convert it into meter so times 0 point <coughs> times 0 point power minus 3 okay the, the, the diameter of the pipe is 0 point one three meter and then we got the relative uh, uh, roughness is zero point zero zero two. Okay, so using Mucha, okay, we have relative roughness zero point <coughs> zero zero two, and we have the Reynolds number six times zero power by by four. So first of all, you need to know is the you need to look at the Reynolds number Reynolds number here. Okay, first the 0, 0 power by 4. So where we have here 0 power by 3, 0 power by 4 here, starting here, 0 point by 4, and 6, eh? 6 times 0 power by 4. So and then we find the number 6, number 6 is here. Make a straight line. Here, make a straight line. The blue line is straight line. Okay, make a straight line. After you, after you make a straight line, 
Okay, you find the value of the relative roughness 0 0.002. So, 0 0.002 which is here. 0 0.002 and then just follow the pink line there. Pink. Okay, pink. Pink line, follow the pink line. Just follow the pink line. Follow, follow it, follow. And then we have intercept here. Set with the blue line. Okay, the pink line intercept the blue line here. Make a straight line to the to the left. Make a straight line. Okay, a straight line. And we can find the value is here. And then we got the value of the friction factor around 0 0.026. 0 0.026. Okay, I hope you understand. Eh? Okay, uh, so that's all for today. So, for your homework, find the value of the friction factor only. Eh? Find the value of the friction factor for each equation given. Eh? For each equation given and send me your homework today. Lah. Send me your homework today before 11.30 p.m. So, what is the equation? Okay, here we have the, the equation about... Um, we have uh, here is the tank. Eh? We have water tank. Water is distributed through the, the pipe, eh? through the home piping system. Okay. Okay, the home piping system. Okay. How we find the... <coughs> so, how we find the uh, friction factor for this equation? So, you need to know two things. Eh? First of all, Reynolds number. Second is the relative roughness. Okay, relative roughness is not, if not given to you, you just uh, can find it in the table eh? I have shown you before. Okay, okay alright. So, we have the equation. So, how we find the relative, uh, Reynolds number? Reynolds number can be found using rho V D over mu. And relative roughness, we have the um, equation here. We have to find the roughness of the pipe. So, what type of pipe we are using here? Okay, we have here iron pipe. Okay, cast iron pipe. So, cast iron pipe. So, you need to find the value of the <coughs> roughness of cast iron pipe. Okay, roughness here, new, here, sigma, sigma. Cast iron pipe. Cast iron. So, refer to the table. Eh? I showed you before. Cast iron pipe. Okay, okay, the flow rate we have 0 0.03. So, you need to find the velocity using the flow rate Q. So, Q equal to a V, so V equal to Q over A. So, you find the velocity. And the diameter is given to you. Okay. 50 cm. The diameter is given 50 cm. Rho is water, so water is 1000. This mu, sorry, this mu. Mu. Over mu, so mu is given to us. Uh, so, the, oh, mu is not given to us. They are given, uh, they have given to us 1.12 times 0 minus 6. This is the kinematic viscosity. So, you need to use the equation. Uh, a equal to VD over over nu. Over nu. So, nu is given to us. The kinematic viscosity. The diameter is given to us. So, you need to find the velocity. Yeah. If you find the Reynolds number and the relative roughness, and then you can find the <coughs> friction factor using the Moody chart. Eh? Using Moody chart. Moody chart. So, Moody chart can be found in your notes. Eh? In your notes, I give a PDF that I have given before the first class. Okay, all right. This is the first question. The second question we have here. So, we have a two, uh, two water. So, we have the same question. Water tank, tank one and water tank two. Connected using a 100 meter long pipe. Okay, the pipe is 100 meter. And the diameter is the long Pipes long 100 meter long. Diameter is 0.13 meter. Okay, the water dynamic viscosity is 1.003 times 0 minus 3. And we have the rho is 1000. For flow from tank 1 to tank 2. So, flow from tank 1 to tank 2. Okay, we have Q given to us. Q equal to 0 0.05 meter cubic per second. The loss coefficient is <coughs> the loss coefficient for fitting. Okay, it's okay. The loss coefficient is K. Eh? K. Okay, I will uh, explain later. I will explain later. Not in this, not in this class. Okay, for uh, what you need to do is just to find the friction factor. So, what to find? How to find? I said before, Reynolds number and 
Relative roughness, you need to find the Reynolds number and relative roughness. So using the equation, Re equal to rho Vd over mu. Rho Vd over mu. Then you can find the Reynolds number. Okay, rho is given to us, D is given to us, mu is given to us. You need to find V. V using Q equal to AV. V equal to Q over A. And then you can find the value of V. Okay, relative roughness. Okay, relative roughness. So what type of pipe they are using right now? Okay, the what? Okay, the water tank connected to each pipe one meter cast iron pipe. So we are using cast iron pipe. So from the table, from the table of the mudi I showed before, find the roughness of the pipe. Okay, roughness, cast iron. Okay, cast iron pipe. Find the cast iron. Okay, the pipe. The pipe is cast iron. Eh? So find the roughness of cast iron pipe using the table I showed you before. Okay, divided by the Diameter and can we find the relative roughness? Okay, using these two information, find the modi, uh, find the friction factor in modi chart. All right, and last one here we have a uh, cooling water, cooling water one thousand. Okay, the row is one thousand, row is one thousand, and we have mu. Mu is zero uh, eight point nine times zero minus four. It's been discharged. <coughs> from a nozzle. So this is nozzle. From nozzle. Okay, the Q is 0 0.00417 meter cubic per second to the atmosphere. The nozzle, okay, is connected to a pump. So we have a pump and the pipe that we're using is right now is stainless steel. Stainless steel, eh? the pipe is stainless steel. Stainless steel. Okay, the piping system is 25 meter long, diameter of the pipe is, so the piping system is 25 meter long, and the diameter of the pipe is 50 mm. So convert it into meter, you have got 0 0.05 meter. Okay, the pipe is connected, okay, so we have here 1, 2, 3, it is 90 degree elbow. Okay, the coefficient of 90 degree elbow is 1.5. If the pressure from pipe, so pipe here, from the pump, okay, this is a pump, pump, 0.1, is 280 kilopascal. Calculate, okay, the head loss. Calculate the pump head, head, uh, pump head, and then the power of the pump for the system, okay. Right now, we are not solving this question. What I want you to find just find the friction factor. What is the friction factor for the flow in this part? So how do you find the friction factor? Like I said before, Reynolds number and relative roughness. Okay, find the Reynolds number and relative roughness. So uh, this is the three question I given to you for your homework. So submit by today before 11:30 p.m. Alright, so thank you very much for your uh, for your concentration and for your for your time. I see you in the next class. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi. Wabarakatuh.